bees did until I spoke. I think I saw that yesterday. It's almost like a little uh, trumpet or a tube or something. Yeah. Might have slipper in the name. Oh, you think it's got a no a net sticky something? No, slipper as in a shoe. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm sorry I scared you. Good morning. This is my first video since I went on vacation. So I don't know if I'm going to be rusty or not, but let's just. Let's just go ahead and we're going to do a look. I'm going to talk to you about some, I'm going to talk to you about my vacation and insert some pictures for you. Um, it wasn't, you know, an, an exotic vacation. It was just a vacation for commoners, but you may enjoy it anyway. Um, I'm going to begin today by putting on Let's see, let's do the face first. And I've never used this primer before. It's Hangover RX by Too Faced or Hangover Prescription. Is that what that means? And I've never used it before. I don't know how much you're supposed to use, but let's just, let's just give it a go. Smells good. Feels good. During my vacation, I used, I think I used the Is Clinical Hydra Serum as my primer the whole, the whole time. All right, that feels good. A little tacky, but that's appropriate in my case, right? Uh, let's, oh. And I've been using a combo of the Dior Forever and the Tom Ford Traceless Perfecting Foundation. And I'm going, and I think I I think I used this the whole time I was on vacation. That's not what this whole thing's going to be about, though, about what I wore. See, one day we went on a really long hike. So what are y'all doing? We are staging to take a short hike. Okay. To see a waterfall. All right. Actually, the base of a waterfall. We had to prioritize our energy and time. All righty. Going to the base instead of seeing the pot. I think we're good. Takes a while, right? Yep. Or arduous hike. It was Chimney Rock. And it had, I'll have to tell you how many steps there were. There was an elevator up to it. And then there were also steps. We took the steps because no dogs were allowed in the elevator. And uh, Taco was with us. We tried to stuff Taco down in his backpack so they wouldn't know we had a dog, but we couldn't get him in there, so we, we took the steps. The next day, let's see what her, see Pat said his quads were aching as we were going up the steps. My uh, calves were hurting. And I didn't feel like I could get enough air. And I don't know if some of it was because we're not used to a higher altitude since where we live is like below sea level. Sea level or below. Okay, so I'm mixing these two foundations half and half. 
anyway, so I, I, I felt like I wasn't getting enough air. But we made it to the top. So your quads burn like 20, 20 steps into that, right? I'm trying to think what hurt. I'll, the next time I'm doing it, I'll tell you what's hurting. Mainly, mainly I'm exhausted. I'm not getting enough wind. It's, uh, my, it's just my quads are burning. Quads, the fronts. Yeah. It, it, the, 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 just the little rest makes me good for another 50 though yeah you, you can't you can't get down unless you have a leash on oh we left it no we got it you you really think you want to put a leash on and climb some stairs climb a few hundred stairs that are like your whole body height i think that's a hemlock right there because that's got bear, berries and oh there it is straight up Okay, we're going we're gonna to tackle another one. Okay. Off. And it was a beautiful vista. Yes. Yeah. 
I don't know. Sounds like bells. That breeze feels fabulous. Because he wants to get out. Get when I get this rubbed in, it's the 3D HD Kabuki. I will uh, come in closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm padding where I have hyperpigmentation to try to get it to deposit more covered. All right, there you go. I don't have anything in my eyebrows yet. That's just my microblading. And this has been uh, I think November. I think I had it done November. Last November was a year. So mine's holding up pretty good. All right. Let's do a contour. I'm going to use the Westman Atelier in Biscuit. I don't know at this point whether that's going to be the, here, I'm going to use my contour, my, yeah, contour bronzer brush that I always use for this and kind of buff it out or not. Yeah, that's not working. I'm going to use a, de look at there, a hair doodah. I'm going to use that. Let's see. I'm trying to think. I ordered hair products from this. These people. And they sent me a. There we go. Alright. I'm going to use my Delium foundation brush to. Work this contour. This is better. I don't know why the other one wasn't working. I think it was because it was too soft. Too fuzzy. So yeah, we did the uh, chimney rock and we didn't do as much hiking as I had planned on because my sleeping was thrown off some because of staying in a hotel with the dog that barked at every, every tiny little noise he heard. So I didn't have un any un any un, un yeah, any uninterrupted sleep. So I so I wasn't up to a big major hike. Chimney Rock also had a uh, a waterfall. I can't see anything. Why can't it? Fuck, go ahead. Because I'm retarded. You just keep coming. It's pretty dark under here. Good 
not bring a, a doggy bag. So hopefully he won't. Of course he can't. He can't. He poop. can't poop as long as he's in the backpack. That's true. That's some wisdom right there. You can't poop if you don't get down. <laughs> You can't keep walking. walked up to the foot of the waterfall. Okay, I'm reclined because I'm going to turn the camera around and show you what's above me. Ooh, that breeze. So, are y'all enjoying the walk so far? Pretty much, yeah. We're ready to get there, so that'll be the halfway point. So you want to you want to see the site? And I'm a little winded, not in a bad way. Just is Taco tired yet? Yeah, the the hills have been tremendously uh, stressing on him. He's panting now. His heart's probably going 180. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let y'all go for now. This is down. Yeah, my takeaway on that is stay in the center of the trail. And then that's up. Don't want anything to do with the edge of the trail. And it was like a hike hike where you walk up a trail and then down the trail. It was, you had to hike up to the base of the waterfall, but there was a hike up to the top of the waterfall, but we didn't do that.
Yeah, getting in the crook of one of these and leaning back. And we did a really simple, easy uh, hike our last day there before the next day when we went home. All right, I'm bored with that now. So let's move on to eyes. I'm going to use uh, an eye gloss today. Who is this by? Glazen? So I'm not gonna put a primer on. This is what it looks like. What is the color? I don't know what the color is either. I'm gonna put that on my lid. It's uh, it feels funny. It feels it feels like a gel. And I've experimented with this just at uh, a swatch on the back of my hand in the past when I first received this. So I'll let you know how it does on eyelids. It's basically. I guess it's basically clear with a gold glitter. I'll let you come in closer. See, it looks like that. But on, I guess it leaves a little bit of gray. Okay, this is what we have so far. Now, now, I'm going to put... Fenty Coconati in my crease. So I uh, just took bare minimum makeup with me. I took the Ace Butte, Butte palette with me and I use that all week. I'd say my looks were similar every day. Pat got me a new eye pencil but I'm not using it today. He got me a new eye pencil. It's a it's a Tom Ford, and the color is Onyx. But I'm not using that today. I'm using the Burgundy lip pencil. I use the Onyx. It's just a black coal pencil. I used the Onyx pencil the entire time I was in. North Carolina. There's the burgundy. I'm going to do this one. We're going to try something I've never tried before today. We're going to try magnetic eyelashes. I know. What is my... What am I guessing is going to happen? What I'm guessing is going to happen is that it's a complete fail. That's why I haven't purchased them. Heather sent these to me. I don't know if she's tried them or not.
This is a Q-tip. And I'm just smudging that upwards. And then I'm going to smudge underneath. All right. What am I going to do with my brows today? I ran out of my Sigma brow pencil. It used uh, the fill and blend. So I'm using a NYX ash brown pencil just to fill in just a little bit. There we go. And we'll brush those through. Like that. Let's try the magnetic eyelashes. All right got this. We got a application device. These are huge. I have my contacts on. There we go. Alright, I'm assuming that I'm going to have to trim these to my... These are huge. Okay, I'm going to curl them around my finger to so they'll fit on my curvy eyes. Let me get my scissors. I'm going to cut the ends off of it. There's a lot that goes off. The band extends way past the, the lashes. Okay. I'm thinking, yeah, okay. This lash goes on this eye, I guess. All right. I'm just going to lay it up there. I'm going to cut this baby in half is what I'm going to do. It's huge. So I can just do outer lashes. I cut them in half. Now I'm going to do do the liner. Okay, I put liner on. the outside of my eye. Got it all in my lashes. I did not mean to do that. All right. I'm going to take one of these babies and I'm going to adhere it to the outside of my eye. Voila. It grabbed on really hard. Well, poopers. Alright, there you go. Let's do the other one. It's got a funny smell. All right, I got that one. Oh, I didn't use the thingies that you're supposed to use. All right, I'm shaping them, rounding them out. Okay, Let's see if this makes it easier.
they pop right on for show. There, what do you think? They're massive, aren't they? I don't know how well they're going to hang on. Anyway, let's move on to the rest of the look. But there, I gave you the demo. And I cut one, one lash in half. While the camera was cooling off, I went ahead and put on my Coco Naughty over my Westman Atelier Biscuit. With, uh, the Coco Naughty's by Fenty. And I put the... Okay, what I'm finding with these magnetic lashes is the front keeps popping up on this one. Uh, it's not a complete fail. I've just, when I put something on, I want it to stay on. It's not a, It's not a temporary thing that I'm going, it's not a five minute thing I'm going for. Okay, this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I put the Chanel corrector in all rows in my uh, kit. This is the Teen Vogue Award concealer brush. I think it's awesome. It's F64. It feels like a tiny little cat paw. It doesn't feel like a tiny cat paw. It feels like a little cat paw. And I think it, it buffs perfectly. I have the Grande Lip lip plumper on my lips now. Mm. Oh, I wanted to use this. This is Sweet Pea by... I think it's Stila. Convertible color, Sweet Pea. You can use it as lip or cheek. Yeah, it's Stila. I wanted to use... I oh, can't Somebody on Instagram inspired this. This is a small fiber by, ooh, got too much, by Sigma. I went in ham. If anybody used to ever stencil their walls back in the 80s, that's kind of the application method I'm using here. Well, actually, that was a... I'm not, I'm not doing circulars. I'm doing pouncing. That's a really pretty color, isn't it? And I'm using my foundation brush underneath here to... Alright. I'm going to take, I'm trying to use up this Laura Mercier. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It's real sand. It's their mineral, I guess it's a mineral foundation. I know, I just need to let it go. This is a random powder brush. Yeah, that front's, but it could be that this one's not giving me any trouble on this side. Well, it's popping up on the front a little too. Anyway. 
it's kind of as I suspected that it's I'm I'm not this is some more naughty cocoa naughty I'm not confident enough in these magnetic lashes that I would pop them on a bride or that I would purchase them. Heather sent these to me. It could be user error. I might not have put enough glue on there. Uh, the, the magnetic liner part, I might not have put enough. Now I'm going to put some Etude House on my under eyes. It's a very bright powder. It's a secret bean powder pack. Let's see what I got here that I can use. To. I'm just going to use the powder brush. I like the way this burgundy liner came out. I like that. And then I kind of drug it up with a Q-tip. Somebody asked me what colors I'm watching for fall. You know, I haven't, I haven't noticed. The only thing I'm trending I've noticed for fall is plaid. I haven't noticed anything with the makeup colors. I don't know. When I do see something, I will. Here's a, uh, I saw somebody do this, a makeup artist. So I'm going to give this a go. This is a, a under eye or uh, vitamin C, it's context, vitamin C all day eye cream. I'm going to take that, I saw somebody do this, over once they had already done the under eye. They patted a, a tiny bit of eye cream under there. So I'll let you know how that works out. But this is context vitamin C. And I didn't put anything under my brow, I just left that naked. All right, let's do naked. Let's do a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm using the burgundy. I'm gonna pull my lips tight. And then I'm going to rub it in. I'm thinking it's it's blending easy because I have that grande on there. It gives it some slip for it to move. And then, and then I'm going to take something really light. I'm going to take the lipstick from Lisa. Eldridge. And put that in the center. And the color of this is Love of My Life. There we go. We don't have any highlight on our cheekbones yet. So let's give that a go. I'm going to take MAC, since I used some creamy products, I'm going to take some MAC strobe cream. It is strobe cream. Yep, the strobe cream. And I'm going to put that on my ring fingers and
right here. It looks a little, it looks stroby on its own, see? Then I'm going to go back to this palette again. This is the Kat Von D. The reason my lighting's odd is because we're competing with the window. All right, I'm going to take this fetish palette from Kat Von D. Looks like that. And I'm going to use, this is the High Cheekbone FO3 from Sigma. I think I'm going to use this pink over here. It's called Rose Shock, maybe. And put that over the top of the strobe by MAC. Can't ever get your highlight to highlight. There's a there's a tip for you right there. All right, and I think I'm gonna soften that a little bit. All right, I'm gonna take my hair down. I hope you enjoyed this look and let me know in the comments if you've tried magnetic lashes and if you have and they've worked for you tell me what I did wrong oh in my application is it uh, that I didn't put enough of the magnetic liner on This is as good as it gets. These are these are kind of fun, but is this is as good as it gets? Anyway, give me weigh in on what you think about the magnetic lashes and if you've tried it before, what what I'm doing wrong. Y'all have a great day, and in the end, uh, on the tail end of this video, I'm going to put some more scenes from our vacation. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Ta-ta. Oh, dear. Would you have ever seen the light pass the